how to make six figures online and how I did it selling low priced PDFs. Today we'll discover how I made multiple six figures selling low priced digital information products. I'm breaking down exactly what I did to help you do the same. So many people will tell you that if you want to make a decent amount of money online, you have to sell high ticket items. However, I made a lot of money only selling low priced items. All of the items I sold in my first business that has now been running for around 10 years were under $100 and most of the products that I sold were under $30. Whenever I test the price elasticity of my products, which means you measure how many products you sell when you change the price, I always find that I sell twice as many products at half the price. So when I reduce the price by half, I sell twice as many. So that's why I keep my products low. And to me, it's better to have more customers because those customers are much more likely to go on and buy more of your other products from you. And to give you a bit of background, my first business was called Green Thickies and I've still got Green Thickies running to this very day. With this business, I helped people lose weight by drinking healthy homemade green meal replacement shakes. And I started my business by building up an audience by sharing free green thicky recipes on my blog and I also started this business a long time ago and it wasn't really the done thing to create digital products at all in those days so it took me a while to figure out what I was doing and because it was my first business I hadn't done any training I knew nothing about creating a business I'd never created a business in my life before so I just started putting out these recipes and then I learned how to build a business as I went along and the main thing I change when I create businesses these days is I don't wait now until I build up an audience. I just create my first product straight away because to me, I'm in business. I know what I want to sell and I just create it. But today I'm going to walk you through the exact steps that I took to create a very profitable business based on selling low priced PDFs. And I go through a very similar process for my more recent product creation, but I'll share how I do things differently now as I go along. Step one, research your audience's desires. When I first started my business, I made the mistake that a lot of people make. I didn't really understand exactly what people truly wanted. I had a big transformation and lost 56 pounds by drinking green thickies, but my motives for sticking to a strict diet were to recover from health problems. So I started my business assuming that people were going to care about their health and that was their motivation for drinking the green thickies. However, as soon as people found out about my big weight loss results, I started getting inundated with people asking me how I lost the weight. And when I started my business, I wasn't really aware that you have to create products based on the three main wants. The three main wants that people have are to get healthy, get wealthy and get happy. And within each niche, people have stronger preferences for certain results, such as in the health niche, people care way more about losing weight than they do about having more energy, for example. In the wealth niche, most people care much more about how to start a side hustle and make a few extra dollars than they do about investing the money that they already have. And in the happiness niche, people care much more about attracting their soulmate than they do about relieving their stress. So regardless of the niche that you're in, you have to research what people actually want, what their core desires are, what their problems are, what they're desperate about and how you can solve their problems. Step two is test your product ideas. So the next step of the process is to test your product ideas. And there are so many different ways to test your ideas, but I'll share one example of what I did. Up until that point, I had only ever created blog posts that shared green thicky recipes. I'd never really shared any stories with my audience. 
But at this point, I decided to do a test. So I created two different blog posts. One blog post was all about how I recovered from chronic fatigue syndrome, my debilitating health problems with green thickies and I got my energy back. And the other blog post was how about how I lost 56 pounds with green thickies. And the blog post focusing on my weight loss story went absolutely viral. It went crazy on social media and Google also started sending me a massive amount of traffic almost overnight. And the other blog post just barely got any traction whatsoever. So the verdict to my experiment was unanimous. People were desperate to lose weight and they didn't care so much about how they lost the weight as long as the solution was new to them and they hadn't tried it before and also there was proof that it actually worked. And after I published that blog post, people just kept asking me what I ate to lose the weight and if I could share my exact recipes with them and it was clear to me that I had to give the people what they were asking for. Step number three is get a small win first. So I only ever recommend starting your business by creating smaller, lower ticket items for your customers. It is a total waste of your time to create a massive product only to find out that nobody actually wants it. So it's far better to create a lower priced product to start with that's going to be a no brainer and an impulse buy for people. So you can get more customers buying your product and you can validate your idea that way. Because if you've got a product that is too high in price, then yes, it can generate a lot of money if say one person buys it, but you're not really validating that lots of people actually want to buy a product that could just be a random one-off. It's far better to validate your product idea very, very small with low ticket priced items. So even though I had a massive transformation myself and I took several months to lose 56 pounds, I knew that this would be too big of a problem to start with. So I decided to create a shorter product that would get people a smaller result in a shorter time frame. So I decided that seven days was a great length of time. And after looking back on my own weight loss results, I remembered that I had lost seven pounds in seven days when I'd first started on this diet. So this seemed to be a great idea for my first product. And I decided to create a seven day detox, helping people to lose seven pounds with green thickies or drop a dress size with green thickies in seven days. Step number four is create your product. So I then got to work creating my product and it was actually very easy to create it because I already had all of the recipes that I had eaten. So all I had to do was calculate the calories for each meal and type the recipes into a document. All in all, it only took me a few hours to create this whole detox meal plan. And I did make the meals again so that I could take photos of them, but I just made one new dinner each day for my family to eat and I took a meal right before I ate the meal. So that part didn't take any extra time because I was cooking dinner anyway. And thinking back now, my photos were such bad quality, but um, this doesn't matter when you create your first product because you can improve things like that in time if your product sells well. And that's exactly what I did. I mod modernized and improved my meal plan several times over the years because it just kept selling well and it still sells well to this very day. So then once I've created the document, I turned it into a PDF and my product was complete, simple as that. And it was one of the easiest things I've ever done. And I still find creating products really easy to this day, which is why I create so many of them. And I didn't require any tech skills other than typing into a document and inserting images into the document. So step number five is offer your product for sale. Before I offered my product for sale, I emailed my audience and asked if anyone would like to be a tester for me. And I think I actually put a blog post out saying if anybody wants to be a tester, let me know and got lots of comments on my blog post as well. 
and I would give them my detox to try and they would give me feedback and a testimonial back in return. And I got a great number of testimonials and some really good results back from that test. And one person even lost £11 during that week on my detox, a guy. Um, and I got some really good feedback. So I changed a lot of things as a result. And to offer my product for sale, I used a very cheap digital delivery service called eJunkie, which in those days only cost $5 per month. And now there's actually products that you can, there's this shopping carts that you can get started with for free. You don't even have to pay for them anymore, which is fantastic. But at, at that time, there seemed to just be this one solution that everybody used. Everyone I knew used eJunkie and was recommending eJunkie. So to me, $5 a month seemed quite cheap. So I simply uploaded my file to eJunkie and they provided me with an online shopping cart automatically where people could type in their credit card details and the product would be delivered to them. And I also created a basic sales page on my WordPress website by writing a little bit about my own results, the benefits of the product and the testimonials that my testers gave me. And I started my pricing fairly low around $7 and I offered my detox for sale to my list and I made thousands of dollars during that first launch and the amount of money I made from that product kept going up and up each month and I also offered it for sale directly from my blog posts especially from the blog post where I shared my weight loss results and a lot of people bought it directly from my blog without even getting on my email list. And after that, I developed certain free gifts, such as my seven day automated challenge and a free e-course that led people to buying the book. And both of these worked really well and still continue to make me money on autopilot to this very day. So I still make really good passive income selling all of my original green thickies low priced products despite the fact that I have not been active in that business for many years now. So this is not just something that used to work 10 years ago, it's still working today and I have been able to replicate that success in many different niches since. And I only actually mentioned one type of digital product during my story, but I have experimented selling many different types of digital products over the years. I have created 10 different categories of digital products that are perfect for offering as your first product. And I share all 10 different types of products and explain whether each one will be suitable for you and whether each one will be suitable for your audience in my 100K product creation masterclass. In this masterclass, I also share the ideal price that you should charge for each product, how to create the product, how long each product will take to create and the free tools that you can use to create each product. My 100K product creation masterclass is worth $77 and is part of my dream business product program. It's a bonus in that program, but I am giving you free access to watch it for a limited time. And you can get that by going to kathkyle.com forward slash product to watch that now. And it is a complete walkthrough about how to create your first profitable product. So I recommend go and check that out and make sure that you've got something for taking notes because you are going to want to record the information in there for later because this is very valuable information. So now it's your turn to go and put your stamp on the world.